Welcome everybody to Michelangelo stage. Uh, next slot is a demo session filled with up, uh, experiments from Blackberry, Lucas Els and Don Turner. That was a bit sinister. Yeah, I think we need something a bit less serious. Can we, can we try that again? Is that, is that Glee? Is uh, it your choice? You've been messing with this. Might be my choice, actually. Don't you like it? <laughs> okay, I feel a little bit sick now. But um, welcome you all to the Bizarre App Experiments. Um, and welcome to our wonderful laboratoire. Laboratoire? Is that French? Why I'm are you speaking I'm just, French? I'm just trying to sound exotic, like you. Okay, yes, I do sound a bit exotic. Um, but that's, I guess, my charm. And it's not yours. You shouldn't copy me. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay, so uh, welcome to our session today. Uh, we are going to do a number of experiments, uh, all revolving around uh, app technology. Um, and really the purpose of today is to look to you guys to kind of inspire you and, and help you create apps which are going to shape the, the future of mobile technology. So, Well, we that was a bit deep. Um, I thought we could be here to see sheep blowing up and have fun. Uh, we did try to smuggle some rockets in, but health and safety and those security guys, they, well, they, they nabbed them and said... Over there. Yeah. Um, Keeping an eye on us. Uh, so, so yeah. Uh, I mean, at least we can have a cat jumping off a spaceship. Do we have that? This actually happened to us earlier earlier in the day, so uh, we, we managed to film it. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I guess a cat could make my day. And I guess that's enough with the shenanigans. It's probably time to start with our experiments. And we welcome you all to our laboratoire, as Don said. Yep. And we would like to, uh, you to enjoy this session. Uh, obviously, questions can be taken at the end. But at any time, you will be part of this session. And you will figure out why during uh, the course of this process. OK, so shall we start with experiment number one, Don? Yes. OK, so experiment number one is called, can we change the rate of music using just our heart rate? Can we, Don? How can we? <laughs> How can we? <laughs> uh, so what I was thinking was, Luca, as you can see from the look of him, uh, is a bit of a, a fitness freak. He loves being in the gym. Um, and his favorite song is The Eye of the Tiger. So I thought to myself, well, what better way to motivate him to, to do some exercise and get on the treadmill than to link his favorite song with his target heart rate? So are you going to make me do physical activity? Yeah, yeah you're going to have to work out. OK, fine. Uh, and I will be taking suggestions from the audience for what you want Luca to do. So feel free to shout out. So that's, and it, and it, yeah, that's and your within first, reason. The first within option reason. to jump in, butt in, and tell me what to do. Okay. You want to so, start? Yeah, let's start the We app. need to switch to the device, please. And the audio also from the device, please. Perfect. Right. Okay. So what we've got here is a very basic app. I ought to kind of prefix this by saying everything you see today has been written in, well, days or hours. So it's all, it's all very much prototype. Everything will be published on GitHub, uh, so you can take it and use it in, in your own project. So if it looks a bit basic, that's, that's the reason. I know this is the design stage, but um, we have tried our best to make the app look pretty. You probably have more skills than us, so feel free to get the code and modify and make it better. Exactly. So what we've got on the left-hand side is we've got uh, a big heart, and that is pulsing every time it receives a signal from the Bluetooth heart rate monitor. Do you want to show it? Shall I unveil it? Oh, God, if you have to. <laughs> He's desperate to do this. I, I said we shouldn't. But Who said that? <laughs> Just, uh, so so this, is, uh, this is available from Amazon. It's a uh, Wahoo uh, Bluetooth. I'm not going to show it, literally. But okay, you but can he is genuinely it. wearing it. This isn't, like, this isn't staged. Shall so. I? Shall I uh, look, 
you're making it, him excited now, so. Um, ah, so. sorry, too much weasels. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the idea of this app is that his heart rate should be 140 beats per minute. And uh, if I hit this big play button here, we should hear, once it kicks in, and uh, unsafe volume level. I think we can deal with that. Can we hear it? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, well it seems to have rotated. <laughs> okay, if you could all rotate your heads 90 <laughs> degrees, that'd be great. Now, hopefully you can hear the Eye of the Tiger playing. So, you want to get to I? 140? It doesn't like you've got to do a lot of work. Is that enough? Uh, yeah, but I'm going to be, I'm going to be really mean to him here. And you'll notice as I speed up the target, the music, no! the music slows down. <laughs> Start jumps. Come on, you can do better than that. What's his, what did you say? Press what? ups, press, press ups. ups. <laughs> oh, that's evil. One arm press ups. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to even try. It's good. It's good. Go on, one more, one oh. more. Oh. <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. Yes, we made it. Okay, so let's just kill that. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. So while Luca catches his breath, I'll just uh, can, can we switch back to the to the slides? And hopefully you can rotate your heads back up. Okay, so so how do we do that? Uh, quite simple, really. We've got a, a Bluetooth heart rate monitor, um, which is paired with the the device. In case you're wondering, the device is is, is just here, so it, it just runs through here and it's just linked up to the screen. Um, so that's, that's paired with the device. And then we use OpenAL to manipulate the audio. OpenAL is an open source library that allows you to load in uh, waveforms and manipulate the pitch, manipulate the gain, uh, do all sorts of uh, pretty cool stuff with very low latency. So it's, it's a great library for, for audio manipulation. And it's supported across uh, all major mobile platforms. Um, we will be going through all of the code from each of these experiments tomorrow um, on our stand uh, throughout the day. So come and come visit us. OK, perfect. Uh, so then, just realize we forgot one thing for the experiment number two. So I would, like, I would like to ask one of our little assistants here if you can pick it up for us, please. <laughs> it's the NFC card that oh we my forgot. God. OK. Back at the booth. <laughs> In my backpack at the back. Perfect. So we shall skip experiment number two because I was too clumsy to remember one little thing to well, bring. Why don't you sit down? Why don't you sit down? Okay. You've Let's, done enough damage. Yes, I have. So. Okay. So you want to do a bit of juggling in the meantime, Don? I could try and juggle for the for the time it takes them to uh, to run from uh, the stand to <laughs> back. But uh, hang on, I can. Do it's this. pretty good, isn't it? Higher. No, that's enough. OK, um, so moving on to experiment number three. Right, so since uh, Luca's exhausted and I'm lazy, I'm just going to sit down here and, uh, and have a little rest. And the idea of this experiment is to see whether we can detect if any of you are asleep. So we figured our talk would be fairly boring and at least one person would fall asleep. Um, so we thought to ourselves, well, we're pretty lazy. Um, what can we use to scan the audience um, to see whether they are actually still awake? Um, so we have an AR drone here. Yes, we do. And we also have an app which uh, will talk to the drone. Yes. Is it running from this device by any chance? Uh, yes, it is. Yep. OK. So we just need to connect to the right network. OK. Don't we? So we just yep. uh, connect the device to, to the network. If we can switch, switch to the device as well. OK. I hate on-screen controls for doing pretty much anything, gaming or any kind of control input. 
I hate on-screen controls. So I thought, I don't want to control the drone with just the device. What I actually want to do is, uh, is use a gamepad. So what I've got here is a, a Moga Pro uh, Bluetooth gamepad. Uh, works, works across uh, a whole range of different mobile devices. It's really good. It's based, based on an Xbox controller. Um, so I've just got to wait for it to pair, which typically takes about 15 seconds, but today, no doubt, will take about five minutes. Of course, Don, we are in the middle of a session. It has to take more. Shall I just see if we can pair it? Bluetooth, Moga yeah. Pro, connecting. Is he on? You want to juggle in the meantime? <laughs> OK. You want to see some more juggling? <laughs> Christ, I never thought I'd be doing this on stage. Okay, this is, this is basic juggling. And then you can start by throwing one over the top, like that. And then if you can throw one underneath at the same time, this is called Mill's Mess. And it looks like that, and I'm gonna drop one. Yep, sorry. Yes. It's connected. And Don, it? I think that's enough. Excellent. It's connected. Jolly good. Perfect. So we're going to use our little assistant to find out if anyone is sleeping down there. Now, with a bit of luck. Uh, ah, that's so much better. OK. Uh, we have a problem. Oh. Hang on. You want to reset check the, the drone? Let's check the drone. Uh, can you connect it to Wi-Fi again? Yes, I can connect to Wi-Fi again. <laughs> This is all part of our experiment, obviously. Yeah, we have all, to experiment script, before getting to script. a result. It's all right now, because we can revert back to experiment number two. <laughs> Very soon. Oh, thank you, Marisha. This is my lab uh, bag. And I'm going to take spray number two here. Perfect. Let's just connect to AR drone. Going IP address. Shall I restart the application as well, Don? Yep, good plan. OK. Uh, I never thought that I would sweat more from this bit than from running around and doing star jumps. Yeah, OK. And obviously, the application will not start. So let's hope. Gamepad connected, connected to drone. Please, baby boy, you want to? Move on. Oh, are you serious? So, shall we say experiment three failed for the moment? Yeah. For, shall for, we go back to experiment moment. two then? Yep. Can we switch back to the laptop, please? No, not much luck in our laboratoire today. Know. Experiment number two. So, we have these two magic cards. They are NFC cards. And what you're going to see today is me having my sweet, sweet revenge on Don, who made me run and made me do push-ups, made me do star jumps. Oh, came back up. Can we have the device, please? Right. So Don told me I needed to exercise more, and maybe he was right, because today I've been eating a muffin or two, and I feel guilty already. But you don't look too good yourself, Don. I think you should do some exercise. He's right. And I've prepared something for you. This is your card. And I've decided that you have to run around the stage and do 10 laps. At every lap, lap, you will have to tap with your card on this device. OK. And when you tap, it will count one lap. But at every lap, you will have one less second to complete the next lap. All clear? Guns. Seems pretty rough. However, I want to complicate it a bit more. He was really mean to me, and I want to be really mean to him. I've got Nerf guns here. So I'm going to give one to you. Yeah, you have to, if you hold it, you have to charge it to load it like this. From the top, from the top, the back. No. Here you go, from here. And release, and then you can shoot. And you have to reload every time, OK? One to you, and I'm going to provide one to you as well. You, you're going to shoot it. Up. 
You want to try? Yeah, just aim there. Yeah. It's all right. Did you, really did you load it? Just, just no. keep it, keep it above waistline. Bro, if you try now. Mind. Perfect. <laughs> so that actually hurt a little bit. You're not Thanks. allowed to hit him here, but it's okay here and it's okay here. Okay. Same for you. You ready? Okay. Please do not shoot. Yeah, don't shoot until you see fire. Until you see fire on screen. These two darts are yours, so let's put it back in. And let's put it back in. All clear? Don runs around. If it doesn't complete a lap within 10 seconds or within the seconds that are displayed on screen, you will see a fire screen. At that point, you will have to fire him. Okay, if you, want, if you perhaps want to stand up and have a better aim at him, just remember here, it's fine, back, it's fine. You ready, Don? I'm ready. I'll start here? Um, yes, you can start here, run around, and then tap here. Okay. All clear. And let me connect. Okay. We're good? Oh, yeah. wrong. Perfect. Ready? Yep. We don't have audio. Can we have audio as well? Tap up. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. It's going well. You guys get ready. No, I'm all right. It's going to get right. there. No, 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 no. Don't cut it. Don't cut it. All the way down. Fire! Ah! Oh. You're useless. Rubbish <laughs> shots. <laughs> ready? Fire. I'm no. the top. How many more things I gotta do? You got three more laps to go. Jesus. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> one more. Last one, guys. Okay, fire. Woo! Uh, so, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I chose this song as a victory song. Uh, he told me not many of you will know it. Hopefully, Sam. Who knows it? Yes. Cool kids. Cool, cool cats. <laughs> can I have the Nerf guns back, please? Perfect. So, how did we achieve this? We can switch back to the laptop, please. How did we do this? It was actually very simple. Um, we have used C to create a listener for our NFC tags. Every time you tap a tag, the application will either be invoked, so it will pop up even if it's not running, or the application will start. we we'll start with a countdown, three, two, one, and then the proper game starts. Um, also, when you tap with the other card, it will record a lap and make sure that Don performs a lap in the time provided. It's very simple. Think about all the uses, use cases for these. Uh, there are already NFC um, uses out there like the Oyster card in London is using NFC, contactless technology, you tap and you go through the gate. Um, companies like Visa and MasterCard and other credit card companies are doing payments through NFC, uh, but you can also access a building through NFC. There are so many use cases. And now, uh, from today, I believe, in London, you're also able to get um, an offer from an advert while waiting for a bus, because at the bus stop, there are NFC tags that you can tap with your device. So there are limitless possibilities there. Now, shall we give it another go for experiment number three? You want to change battery, Don? Yeah, I think yep. it was that, that one. We've been playing with it for a while, and we've been rehearsing a lot. So obviously, Don had a lot of fun already with the drone. This is the game part for you. Thank you very much. Shall I put the game on? Well, the game, the app on. Let's give it another go. Okay. Yes. Last one, yeah. Ready? Okay, connected to drone. Gamepad connected. 
<laughs> Sorry. Ah. Uh, anyway, we will run this uh, experiment tomorrow again in um, our booth, in our stand, BlackBerry stand. And hopefully tomorrow we work. Um, I think it's something to do with the Wi-Fi. There are too many Wi-Fi networks here and too many hotspots. And the drone itself is a hotspot, which might interfere a bit with our plans. How did we do that? Well, we didn't do it, so I'm not going to even show <laughs> We can move on to experiment number four, Don. Yes. And um, I really love singing, and I've got a beautiful singing voice, um, or at least few people say. I do not. And he knows how to play guitar really well. So we thought we would combine the two and make a really cool application that makes us do both. You want to explain the app? Yes, OK. So uh, experiment number four is, uh, can we turn the phone into a musical instrument? Obviously, we can. Um, but this is a uh, guitar with a diff difference. So you tap the guitar strings to make, make a noise. You should be able to hear that. But the note is linked to the accelerometer inside the phone. So as I, as I rotate it up, you can hear the pitch change. So the idea is that you can play different notes by rotating the phone. OK, and we have a surprise, I guess, here. Yeah. So uh, the other thing that this guitar can do is it's, a, it's also a sampler. So we can, re we can record a sample using the, the yep. phone microphone um, and then play that back at a, at a, a regular beat. So, um, so uh, Luca, do you want to give, me, a, give yes. me your best beat? So bear in mind that we're going to play a song. If you recognize the song that Don is playing, you're going to win a little prize. We're not going to say what yet, but there is a prize. OK, so whoever recognizes the song first, raise your hand and we will ask you what song it is. Or just shout it out. Shout it out? OK. OK, you ready? My beautiful singing voice. <coughs> Can you hear that? It's not really. You want to try again? I'll try again. Do it, do it a bit louder. Is it playing at all? Oh, can you, can you another experiment failed? No, not yet? It's crashed. OK. I well, I, I like how our laboratoire is so <laughs> unpredictable. OK. We're going to try again later. I guess we can move on to experiment number five and then go back to experiment number four. Uh, I, lo I love how these things go sometimes. So. How did we do that? Again, we didn't do it. Uh, so we'll move on. Can I switch back to the laptop, please? Right, experiment number five. How do we create a network game? Now, this game relies on the Wi-Fi. So hopefully, our Wi-Fi will device. work. Your device. And I just need to put input my password here. Right, I need the device. Is it connected to the Wi-Fi? Yes, it looks like it's connected. OK, so for, for this experiment, we thought we'd uh, try and create a networked game. So the idea here is if you can all uh, pull out your phones or if you've got a laptop on you, um, you should see that there is a wireless network in, in range which is called the Bizarre Experiments. Sorry, Bizarre Experiments. Um, the, the password to access the, uh, the Wi-Fi is 12345678. OK, if you play with us, you're going to win a prize. So hopefully, yeah. we will be able to conduct this experiment. Uh, there are actually two prizes. I don't know. It depends how generous we feel at the end. So SSID is bizarre experiments. Password is 12345678. I'll give you 30 seconds to connect. Well, let's has anyone managed to connect to that network? Yeah? Anyone? Yep. yep. Good. So keep connecting. Right. Once you connect to it, open the browser and put this URL on, which is the IP address of the device there, on port 1337. Make sure on the browser you insert colon 1337. So it's 192.168.1.83 port 1337. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Password is one, two, three, four, should, five, Should six, we do seven, a practice run so people can see the game? Yes. Who's connected? Anyone with the browser open? OK. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to split the audience into two. So you guys, uh, you, you want to tell So you off? guys, um, actually, I'm here. Yeah. You guys play for me. And you guys over here, you're, you're, I'm counting on okay. you. OK, so I'm counting on you guys. When you, put, when you put the IP address on, slash Luca. Put slash Luca, L-U-C-A, my name. On my, my name. side is slash Don, D-O-N. OK. So, who's got the browser open to slash Luca here? Uh, almost. Getting there? Getting there? Uh, so it's, you got it's it? This, Let's uh, write this URL, slash Don, D-O-N, lowercase. Let's try a quick run. Yeah, we'll try a You'll have a run. play button, play again button. It's, right, it's OK. You want to try? So as you can see, I'm the cheeky monkey, and Don is the Kerber, the pink Kerber. It's really pretty. Who's okay, playing so for Don already? Oh, <laughs> good guys. Good, good, good. Keep going. OK. So Just click hammer, every, play again. Every person who registers a click for me brings Lucas Monkey closer to the crocodile. Yes. And every person who plays for me will bring the little pink girly Kerber, so which tap is away. Done closer to the crocodile. So you, you have, have to wait hit for play the page to fully refresh times. before you can hit uh, play again. Multiple times. Did it crash? <laughs> Your device crashed. Wi-Fi crashed. Yay! Wi-Fi crashed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. Okay. Shall we start again? <laughs> okay. So I, I won by that. Eight no. seven. Yeah. yeah. Well done, team. <laughs> OK, let's start a real game now, OK? Let's start the game again. Wi-Fi, is it working? It's connected. Can you, do you have access to the Wi-Fi? Same address. Is it working for you, not working? You can't connect to the Wi-Fi. How many of you guys are connected to the Wi-Fi? No? Just can't. Some. It's up and down. Yay, up and down. Oh, thanks, Cisco. Pardon me? It's working. It's kicking you out, the Wi-Fi. We love our router. You want to give it a Let's kick? just bring this chap out here, see, yes. if, see if it's uh, any better. You guys want to try again? If it's working. Pardon me? Deactivated your profile. Right. No one able to play? I love how these experiments go. I think Wi-Fi is a problem. Yeah, the Wi-Fi is a problem here. Yeah, yeah. Well, shall we say that we switch back to the laptop then? Oh, 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 someone connected. Who got connected? Is it working? Five, someone here. Good guys, good guys. Can What's you guys happening? see any Who's page playing? when you when you connect? No? Who's no connected? Page? Who's playing? No, nothing. You're playing. Yeah, play again. Click play again. Play again. Woo! Got it. Go, 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 go. Play. Play. <laughs> okay, so we've got one player. Bring Don closer to the crocodile. So you see a page. Did you set this up so that only your side could play? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, the, on the page, there is a play again button. So if you can smash there, just wait until it reloads the page. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Well, exciting times, Don. Exciting Indeed. times. Well, in a revolutionary uh, ending to this game, oh, bo oh, both oh, characters we'll escaped one. without without harm. So uh, it's getting there. We're get, Slowly, we're there. steady. You still playing? Connected. Just open the browser. 192.168.1.83. Ha <laughs> Slowly we're getting there. <laughs> we could be here for some time. Sorry? Oh, no. Oh, no. Someone started playing seriously over there. You did. You did. So you guys should see also an IP address on your screen, which is the, your player name. At the end, if we manage to reach 100, 
whoever played the most will be on the screen. Oh, it's getting, oh, hold on. Don is taking over, guys. Do something. I think he's the only one playing. Should we just abort the mission, Don? <laughs> it's like the slowest, most tedious game ever. <laughs> well, that was fun. Uh, anyway, mission aborted. Abo okay. Unfortunately, Wi-Fi, it seems like there's too much interference with, with Wi-Fi. Obviously, every single device in the whole room has, is emitting a wireless signal, and that causes an immense amount of interference. So uh, that, unfortunately, is what's causing the problems. Um, I think so, Don. But if any of you can bear with us enough uh, to come along tomorrow to our stand, we will redo the experiments that didn't work. And I promise you, they do work, and they are um, uh, amazing. And we'll give away prizes as well. Um, this time, if they work, you want to give a last final try to your drone to see if it works at all, or you don't trust it. Okay, I'll try the. Uh, I'm, not yeah. I'm not hopeful. I'm not hopeful, but uh, I will give the drone. Give it. Give it a try. Oh. <laughs> the game goes on. I'll just wait till something happens. We should have pulled like 40. I think you are the only one playing this game. You realize that? OK. Bluetooth. <laughs> yeah, but we finished the game if you're connected <laughs> too late. <laughs> OK, let's give it another go. Um, it's working perfectly now. Ace playing too. You guys keep playing. I will see whoever wins. Oh! Okay, with with the uh, with the Wi-Fi, it's probably going to crash on someone's head. So <laughs> uh, I I admit no liability, despite being in control. Oh. Yes. Okay, so very quickly then, uh, the idea was that we could detect people who would be uh, asleep in the audience, and uh, if I can just detect, uh, let's let's see if we can get someone close here. Uh, oh, Welly, you've fallen asleep. H how could you? Oh, now I'm going to crash into your head. That'll wake you up. Uh, so when we, when we find someone who's asleep, we can... It's crashed. <laughs> the, no, it should be OK. Just a video feed. It, uh, just a video a, feed that crashed. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, only part, and part that the, was the best it, feature of the a, application. It's only a part failure. This is this is progress. Uh, it's just so, half failure. So so the drone is uh, being controlled by a Bluetooth gamepad. It sends uh, commands over uh, TCP to the to, to the drone, and then that reacts by moving left and right and all the rest of it. Uh, it has a video feed, uh, which is stalled for some reason. Uh, it actually has another camera uh, which faces oh, down. Oh oh oh! You want to bring it up here? Okay. Bring it to Papa. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. God, you've got an ugly face. Okay. And there we go. So uh, that's what you can do with a gamepad and a drone. And uh, you want to land it? There we go. <laughs> yes. OK, so we only have two half failures today. Yeah. I guess, being scientists um, and all. Yeah. Um, you know, we're pushing the boundaries here, so <laughs> things go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know why. <laughs> anyway, so as Don said, tomorrow we will be running these experiments again in solo sessions. So we will have 20 minute session for every experiment. If you want to have a look at the code, hands on, ask us questions, or see how else you could use that code in your application. And I believe they start from 12 o'clock? From 12 onwards. 12, 12 onwards. onwards. And the schedule is available on um, our stand. We have screens outside in the Blackberry stand. OK? Cool. So thank you all very much for coming and bearing with us. I uh, hope you've uh, got something out today and hope you've, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, so uh, thanks for coming. That's it. I'm Don Turner, and that's Luca Sale. OK. And I have a last minute news. Um, there are prizes like cash prizes, I believe, monies. Um, if you like monies, 
then you should come to our stand at, on Friday, 11 o'clock. One o'clock. One o'clock. And come with a pitch. By the way, sorry, it's the Blackberry stand, uh, just in case. We keep saying the stand. And every experiment that you've seen uh, it runs on a uh, BlackBerry device, so BlackBerry Z10 here, just okay. FYI. Shameless plug, which was much needed. Um, so our stand, BlackBerry stand, 1 p.m. on Friday. If you come and you tell us what application you would like to create, a great idea using one of the technologies we have showed today and we will show tomorrow again. We will win, first prize is 1,000 pounds pounds woo -hoo. and then we have a second prize and the third prize 500 and 300 pounds so if you all lo uh, love monies come tell us what application you would like to create um, an innovative application perhaps something good that no one has created before the best application will get 1000 pounds Friday 1 p.m. Blackberry stand all good okay. perfect Thank you. thanks a lot guys